Hi, I'm Peggy Farron with Understand Photography. I'm going to show you how to animate in Photoshop CS6. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Photoshop. I've got it open actually. I'm just going to kind of wake it up. I'm going to go to File, New. Uh, here under Preset, I'm going to change it from Clipboard to Film and Video. And we want under size it to say HDV 1080p 29.97. So that's if that's not up, you can find it here and choose it. I'm going to change the width to 1920 and leave the height at 1080. The resolution's not so important. These settings are the standard settings for HD video. If you have, if you're going to be putting this on some other device, you might want different settings. Click OK and we can ignore that. And then we've got a new file. We're going to go to Window, Timeline, and so we have a timeline. I'm going to go ahead and open up my little airplane that I want to animate. And he's on the desktop. There he is on the desktop. And I'm going to just drag him onto. Oops, my timeline's in the way. Did I drag him on there? No, didn't work. I'm going to drag him on there. All right, I'm not going to drag him off. I'll, I'll release him from there and then I'll drag him. There we go. Close that to get it out of the way. I'm going to start the airplane down here. And then let me move this timeline back up a little bit. Um, create video timeline and then my airplane is going to go right onto the timeline. It's very similar to a video timeline if you've ever done any video. Over here on the far left, we're going to open up the layer our airplane is in position that we want it to start. So we're going to click on position, open it up, and you see this little yellow diamond? That's called a keyframe. That's where we want it to start. Then we're going to move our playhead all the way to, towards the end, and then I'm going to move my airplane. You see I got another little keyframe right there? So let's try it. Let's bring the playhead back to the beginning, hit play, and watch our first animation. Okay, so now we need to save it. We're going to go to File, and it's a little bit different because we're talking now, we're, we kind of have a video. So we're going to Export, Render Video, um, Plane Animation. And I'm going to go ahead and save it to my desktop. I'm going to use QuickTime as my format because I have QuickTime on my computer. I know that for sure. Animation high quality, 1920 by 1080. Again, that's the standard size for HD video. Frame rate 29.97. And I'm just going to leave all the rest of this stuff alone and click Render. So now it's rendering the video. I probably should have done it at a lower resolution. <laughs> it's a short video. It's almost done. And I think it's done. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to find the plain animations. I'm going to right click and make sure that it opens with QuickTime. And QuickTime opens up so huge. So I'm going to just go to this little square, hit play. And there it is. My little plane is flying. You can do it too.